on the super moon block. Look at the lake, the beautiful lake, and there's an eagle up there. We can call it kite also. And there's fish. First, first, let me show you some ducks. Look, two ducks swimming. Mm -hmm. And now there's fish. Come over here. Look. Why this lake is famous? What is it famous for? For all of the creatures. Don't lie. Yes. Oh, 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 you fall down. Why it is... No, why are we here? Why we have come here? All the way from Sikkim? Because you see the beautiful lake. To see the beautiful lake. And there's more fish over there. What about... What is the story behind Guru... About Guru Rumbuchi? All right. What is the story of Guru Rumbuchi? You don't know. No. You don't know. All right. All right. Okay. The kingdom to which the village of Rivasal belonged was called the kingdom of Zahor and its king name was Tuklakzin. He was in need of son. But when the queen gave birth to a daughter, even though there were many miraculous signs like shower of flowers and celestial music heard by all the people in the kingdom, he wasn't satisfied as he needed a male heir. The princess grew up very quickly and by the age of 13, she was a fully grown beautiful woman. Many kings and princes from the surrounding countries made marriage proposals, but the king thought as she was his only daughter, it would be dangerous to have her marry one prince and have all the others as enemies because of that. Following the advice of his ministers, he asked the princess herself which prince she wanted to marry. She was terrified and begged her father for mercy, as the only thing she desired was to be a dharma practitioner as a nun. Her father refused, saying that there was no possibilities for a female practitioner to have realization in one lifetime and that she should find a suitable spouse. The princess decided to flee from the palace out of desperation and scratched her face bloody, cut her hair and put dirty clothes on her. Her parents set out a search party and once they found her, dis her decided to grant her wish to be a nun. But the parents also sent 500 maids as nun. Meanwhile, the great master of Odhyana, Guru Padma Sambhava, had seen that there was a suitable host for his teaching and decided to meet the nun princess. Upon seeing him, the princess and the 500 nuns offered their respect and gift to him and the princess requested teaching, realizing that he was her root guru. Unfortunately, a cow herder saw the whole scene and assumed that he was a lover of hers. As soon as the king and the queen were informed, they went to see their daughter. When they arrived in front of the locked door of her chambers, they heard a male voice speak and this confirmed their thought. They arrested their daughter and threw her into a pit jail. As for her teacher, they decided to burn him alive. His servants prepared a huge quantity of wood and oil and putting Guru Padma Sambhava in the middle. They set it afire. The fire blazed for one full week and it is said that the black smoke covered the sky. After seeing the smoke had not faded, they realized that something was wrong. So they went up to see what had happened. They saw Guru Rinpoche sitting in a relaxed manner on a giant lotus floating in the middle of a lake, surrounded by rainbow lights and hundreds of Dakinis singing praises to him. Because he had integrated with the nature of the element, the fire couldn't burn him and manifested as a beautiful lake with a ring of fire still burning around it. The king and all those present suddenly had very strong faith and repented for the negative action towards such an enlightened being. 
the king offered his royal robes and ornaments and prostrated to the guru he then brought him to the palace and seated him on the royal throne attired as a king and sent for his daughter the princess mandarava who was to be liberated from the pit in which she had been held for a week the princess refused to leave saying that she had no desire to leave her jail after when the king the queen and the ministers asked for her forgiveness and requested her to return to the palace she finally accepted the king offered his entire kingdom and all riches to guru padma sambhava asking him to remain in the zahor and teach benefiting all ben- beings of the realms it is said that the great guru of ugen accepted to stay and remain there for a long time in the 1300 years that followed this event many masters practitioners and lay people have visited chopema and practiced there There are as a result monasteries temples holy caves and special places there and in the city of Mandi an ancient capital of kingdom of Zahor The first cave is when you take the white stairs and then turn right after 50 meters or so it is the first door before the shrines and practitioners rooms but in general there is always someone to show you the way There is a main cave with a big statue of Guru Rinpoche and a smaller one behind it with a statue of Dakini Mandarava. Above this too is a hut built above the sacred cave of Padma Sambhava. It is a fabulous place for practice when we say holy cave it means these enlightened beings practice in them and empower them. Over the years some important tertons have discovered treasures hidden teachings in these caves it is said that there are still some to be discovered there and particularly the one in the secret cave of padma sambhava where you can see a strange circular rock formation in the wall on the left side as soon as you enter the actual cave from there you can go uphill and pass through the lungta hill where pilgrims hang the prayer flag and burn incense if you go through or around it to the other side of the hill top there are white marble stairs leading to a little hut where you can see a footprint of padma sambhava in the rock and about 2 meters above the floor So we are in this cave where Guru Rinpoche did meditations uh, and this is the cave. So see how it is preserved till now. People just put the name on it to mark it at Afka. They have came, come here. So this is the thing. It's all about Mandarawa and Guru Rinpoche. Guru Ne. Touch. I did a camera and I come in there and I think she's like... Chetrangi Sani Peer, Dwa Onani Shih, Ondi Kitha Noa Min Guru Rumba Chih, Kai Ji. Shata? Yeah, Kai Ji. Shata Noa 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 Jor Kansai Yoh Di Tim Bung Bung Kut. Lai. Kai Ji Yoh Mahi. Oh. Chai Chine Si Ma Wa Noa Noa Gyan Ban Ji Yoh. Lai. Chai 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 Kwa Raja Yoh Chai. Lai. Mm. 
so let's enter into this book so uh, before entering to this book we have to say om ahu beza guru pema siddhi hu this is the prayer that we have to do while going here and it is believed that if you say om ahu benza guru pema siddhi hu om ahu benza guru pema siddhi hu while you get inside the cave all your sins committed till now will get erased we it will help in some way or the other so we have to get down by saying om ahu beza guru pema siddhi hu so let's go together so all my family members have already reached down now only i'm going let's go down and it is believed that this cave is a place where Guru Rinpoche has done meditation. Come here. Say. What to say? Guru Rinpoche, no joke on that. You are in the shower, but you could so hit the top for the shower. I did that. Not to do so, she now saw the purchase. She was not some of you to do what she did. I do so. Oh, you get your game of Janja Pema, yes, I don't know. I am to show him on the man in the chest to the Hondo Hondo Mampe, or he gets to the heart of the thing. Get up to the good of the massy day home. I sit up. I'll go be going to you. So now we are heading back to another cave. So let's go to another cave because these, all these caves are very very important thing. So through this video, uh, please get blessed. Please seek blessings from Guru Rinpoche. So these stones and all. Can you see this cave? This is hundred and thousands and thousands of years old. So it's very auspicious and it's very very rare to see and it's very good thing. Because hello, la, ninga re, oh ngam pi ko shibe. Cho 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 chimi pi wa. Cho mala cho chimi chimi pi ge baby. Chimi pi shi cho cho. Aba jo jo la nyon nyon la. Ajo di chu thene chimi pi la. So lem tap lo. Okay, Papa. Lay. Papa gie so chimi ona. So lem tap lo ye po. Nye se gie po. So 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 ka di ka di sup di pia nya. Ka ka di sup shi be. Ka ka di sup shi be. Oh, ten shi ngal. Oh, di pia. Ka sup di chimi pia. Tarung te tu te ju lap la so atap la ta chojo. Only five one again. Yeah. Chojo, tiga sih. Ona sih anak tiga. Anak lagi tiga. Ona membe anak lagi tiga. Pih sama sih tarung pasal pitap tau dia malam. Dikit-dikit, 
Such a wonderful experience we are going through. Mark, what do you want to do? What? Uh, you all can see the script written on the stones, right, through this video. So, these are uh, places, these are the sites where Guru Rumbuchi has once been. So, that's why everything is very important and it is called as Chachita. So, we call everything important as Chachita. So, this is one of the most important uh, pilgrim site of believers, uh, pilgrim site for the believers of Guru Rumbuchi. So we are in a search of Guru Rumbuchi's footprint. So there's a cave where the footprint of Guru Rumbuchi is there. So we are in search of it. So we are middle in the we are in the middle of jungle. So we are searching and searching. <laughs> It's so beautiful, Mama. Yes. I don't know how to do it. I don't know how to do it. I don't know how to do it. How do you do it? I don't know how to do it. I don't know Luntaka is not over. What did I be? Yeah, but a short link. Close up short I have a problem with the problem with the thing. The thing is gone. Oh, it's a good thing. It's a good so um, our Ajahn Tugula has taught us that very, whenever we uh, try, uh, we hang this uh, lungta in Ne and all, when we come for Nekor, we have to write the names of the people, people who has uh, put this lungta, you know, like, like we have to write our family's name because our family has uh, hanged this lungta. That's why we have to write their name, everybody's name. So she is writing everything in short form. I get them by some, you know. Chojo Rangjung, Chojo Mi Bay. Road by the Hinobana Sami. Huh? So now they come Kobe. So this is the cave where this is the meditation cave. So finally, we have reached here. Mama, you can see the footprint of Guru Golden one. Mama, what is this? Mama, what is this orange footprint then? I don't have a pimp pass for dinner. This orange footprint is matching me on the. 
How are you feeling? Bad. Why? Bad. <laughs> Bad. <laughs> Bad. Huh? Bad. Um, it's so cold. How can you feel hot? One of the most exciting thing while going through Nekor is climbing uphill, <laughs> climbing all the stairs, and the and the and that feeling when you reach that destination is so priceless, isn't it? Kunzang, isn't it? Yes. I should have put it on. See, the way is so difficult. You can see it. So, kali me na ne yo mare lakshe dirabe. Kale me na yo ne yo mare. So kale. He got the perfect shoes for climbing up the hills, rock and all. So he knew about all this thing. That's why he got all this kind of shoes with all that grip. You can see the grip in his shoes. I get Look at me. I get I get you can see the how the water is being preserved over here so this is known as rainwater harvesting a typical form of rainwater harvesting so for the filtration they have used their cloth so whatever the water comes from the thing roof will be collected in this syntax and it will be filtered through this cloth so nicely done Cherizi, Gurusham Puchi, Thousand's Hand, Cherizi. Extra. Okay. So again, now we are going to another name that is um, the statue of Guru Tumbuche, which has been erected recently. So we are going to go and uh, take a blessings from seek blessings from there also. So just we are going there to so look at the road. We have to go through it's like this. The majestic Guru Rumbuchi is back. And you have to do I like it. Then you have to see. And you got. I can share both of all of them. For well, once, can I do this one? Yes. Wait. Come. Oh, good idea. I can show you Let's go now. Okay. I can show you one. Huh? No, then you want. Go go. Carefully. You'll fall down. Now we have to get inside. 
मोमो खाई साइड में खुशी भर बस हिजो को ब्लग रेस ब्लग हेर हे रुंद अपने ब्लग हेर आप रुंच एंड आलू खाचा इज द ब्रेकफास्ट फोटो थे फोटो कैप जैसे आना है फोटो 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 झूले दासी दिले क्यों दाजू क्यों दा ले हो गया